It's just about cold pollen season. I'm getting prepared. Hey, Major Moxie here in Carson City, Nevada, with a quick hike up to Kings Canyon Waterfall. Quick hike to the lower falls and a longer hike to the upper falls, and hopefully I'm going to find a swimming hole so I can do a cold plunge today. Come on, let's go. Kings Canyon Waterfall is a year-round spring-fed creek and after it falls it ends up into Carson City's drinking water system so they want to make sure that we keep it clean and respect it so everyone has cleaning drinking water in Carson City I love how they just redid these trails and put these signs and restrooms up just a few years ago it makes this hike that much more enjoyable if you're come down to Carson come on down to Kings Canyon hike it's great at the north end of Carson City there's a couple different loops on this trail system. I'm going to take the shorter one to the lower falls. I think this is the best area that has the prettiest falls. There's longer loops, four mile loops, even longer, and then four wheel drive trails. This spring fed waterfall, it is still so moist at the end of summer. It's just the beginning of October and this day is gorgeous. The trees are just turning. I wonder if we're gonna have lots of snow this year. Ooh, made it. That was only like a 10 minute hike. Here we are, Lower Falls, King Canyon. Oh, it is so cool. I can feel the mist. Oh, it looks so refreshing. I have to remind myself, do not drink the water. I got so sick drinking high-flowing water over moss, thinking that keeps it fresh. No, I got really sick. This water still looks so refreshing. Don't drink the water, Moxie. Don't get it in your mouth. Don't do it. Resist. Oh, but it's so cool and refreshing. It looks so tasty. Make sure you carry some water or a filter so you're not tempted to drink this cold, clear water. Wow, it looks like we have some tree carvers here. It's a popular thing. I see a lot of names on these trees. Looks like Fuckhead was here also. There's a little trail going up the creek to some other little falls. I'm going to see how far I can get up this little trail. Checking out some more of the beautiful little tiny falls. With this being a year-round spring-fed creek, during March, during the winter melt, this definitely flows heavier then. So if you come out during the spring, this should be really impressive next year. The falls are so loud and I don't have a great mic on my camera that I put under the water. Sorry for all that noise. Waterfalls. This trail goes up for a while. There's some more tree carvers. I could tell when it comes summer, you're gonna wanna find a spot along the creek to cool off away from some other people. So you might travel up here and find your own little area. This place is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, what an impressive flow. Just from a creek at the end of summer. Well, it is spring fed. Trying to find myself an area deep enough to plunge in. All I need is a few inches. Prefer to be a little bit deeper. Oh look, Fuckhead knows how to spell and carve on a tree. I wonder if that was a Mrs. or a Mr. Fuckhead. Oops, watch my language. Sorry. I can't believe how many impressive falls there are going up this creek. 
I should even travel up a little bit further. Maybe next summer. Well, I'm going to come up here this winter when it's frozen over. Kings Canyon Waterfall. This is just a quick 10 minute hike from the parking lot to the lower falls. And now I've been up the trail a little bit, but it's time to get back because I have to go on the longer hike to the upper falls. So I gotta get going. Come on, let's go. So I'm headed back to the parking lot and right at the entrance of the parking lot, there's the beginning of the trail that goes to the upper falls loop. That whole loop According to the map, is a 4.4 mile hike. I'm just gonna go one way and then back, so it should only be like a three mile hike. For your safety and to protect Carson City's drinking water, no entry into this area. It's a mile and a half vertical climb up this dry, rugged road. Make sure you bring some water. Today I'm not carrying my umbrella. I need my vitamin D. Gonna get some sun rays. Bring your sunscreen if you need it. Some of the nicest property out here in Carson Valley. But I wouldn't want to encourage you to move to Nevada, stay in California and Texas, because Nevada is nothing but mansions and beautiful space. There's a slight turnoff that goes back to the lower falls, but you're going to want to go up the hill up towards the ash trail to get to the upper falls of October and the trees are just changing. It's gorgeous up here. Lots uphill. I could still see the parking lot down there. I still think I have a little over a mile to go. You can go left and go back to the lower falls or you can go right and skirt around the mountain and make it up to the upper falls. Come on, more uphill to go. That just means downhill on the way back. U.S. Forest Service Land Survey Monument. Please do not disturb. This monument was located as a part of official land survey. It helps to find land ownership lines. I'm seriously rethinking my decision to come up here. I thought this was going to be a quick, easy hike. This is a little bit steeper and longer than I thought. I should have came with some water and my umbrella today. What was I thinking? Come prepared if you go up to the upper falls. Right here, veer off the road and get on the small trail to go to the falls. This road goes up and around and travels past. You do not want to stay on the road. So follow the little sign and get on the small trail. The road took you away from the falls and now this trail is bringing me back. I could finally hear some running water in the distance. It is so loud, I have got to be close. It's funny when you almost reach your destination how you get a little spring in your step and a little more energy when you know you're actually there and you've made it. Oh, finally. You know you've made it to the upper falls when you find the wooden bridge to cross the creek. This is it. I thought the falls were going to be taller up here. No, mm, this is all. It's still gorgeous. 
I am surprised it is actually so clean up here. For as many tourists come up here and carving their names in trees, this place has been spotless so far. Good job. No trash, no artwork under the bridge. Wow, I haven't even found one pair of underwear on my hike yet. Oh, I can't wait for this winter to see what these falls look like frozen over. I wonder how much snow we're going to get. I wonder if I can even do this hike during the winter. Well, you're going to have to find out. Kings Canyon Upper Waterfalls. It's a mile hike. I think the lower waterfalls is just as, well actually better. So if you have some kids, I wouldn't drag them up here. Keep them at the lower falls unless you want to torture them. But it was a nice hike. My whole purpose for coming up here is to find a swimming hole deep enough that I can plunge in and get into this cold water. I think it's just a little over 40 degrees today. That's perfect. Ooh, mushrooms. I'm not an expert, but my rule of thumb is if it's white, it's not right. And you throw that thing away and wash your hands. The upper falls are definitely not as impressive as the lower. This is not as big of a drop. What is that, 10 feet? And the lower falls, I think it's like a 26 foot drop. It's nice up here, but not as beautiful as the lower falls. One thing I like going uphill is you tell yourself on the way back, it's all downhill. It will be easy. My favorite things is to run downhill. Woo! Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. And if you want to see what this waterfall looks frozen, come back this winter. Can't wait. See you then. Always looking for rocks in the gravel road bed. Some of the best places to find some specimens. Ooh, look at these green rocks. Tell me what they are.